So in this video we shall learn about how to read a normal x-ray of the shoulder joint. See friends basically we get the x-ray of the shoulder joint in case of if we are suspecting any trauma I mean uh, any fractures like uh, we see proximal humerus fractures, glenoid fractures, clavicle fractures, AC joint separation, greater tuberosity fractures. So for these reasons we, get, we ask for the shoulder x-ray sometimes to see if there is any dislocation. Okay, every time the dislocation need not be a simple, simple dislocation. Today morning I have seen uh, another patient. I, unfortunately, I did not have the x-ray right now. That patient has got a anterior shoulder dislocation with a GT fracture. Okay, so coming to this x-ray, you can clearly see this is the normal humeral head. This is a glenoid, this is a coracoid, this is a la clavicle, lateral end of the clavicle, this is the acromion. This is the greater tuberosity. Okay. So the reason for asking the x-ray for this patient is he has got a history of slip and fall from bike. He just has mild pain and mild restriction of range of movements of the shoulder. Okay, this is the AP view. Now coming to the axillary view, it's very very important view. Okay, so again, this is the coracoid, this is the clavicle, this is the lateral end of the clavicle, this is the acromion, this is the humeral head. Okay, so this shows if there is an anterior dislocation or posterior dislocation. This is very helpful in case of posterior dislocation. So if you have got any doubts about uh, reading x-ray of the shoulder joint, you can ask in the comment section below. Okay. Sometimes we see uh, 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 hill sags defect. Sometimes we see bony bankers also in the x-ray, but there are some special views for it. Okay. So if you have got any doubts about the shoulder x-ray, you can ask in the comment section below.